just want to do a short video of a view after one heating season with my crown oil 7300 mp outdoor boiler hopefully we're getting close to the end of the season we got some snow the other day um but yeah i am uh installed this beginning of may of 2021 so i haven't, I haven't had it quite for a year yet uh, and i'm very happy with the boiler i'll pull the vent so we can open it up and i'll show you the inside but uh it just came off cycle so i gotta give it a little bit for some of the smoke to get out but um, i run it up to 180 degrees in a coldest part of the winter i was keeping about an eight or nine degree temperature difference now that it's we have some warmer days i keep it about five degrees um different difference before the boiler to kick on and uh yeah so crack the door let some of the smoke come out just so i can show you the firebox there's the inside of the firebox um the trick to this one being the mp it has the shaker grate so you could burn coal if you wanted to the trick to it is to keep a really good coal bed uh, beginning of the season whenever it wasn't i'm um, calling for a lot of heat had a couple took a little bit to get used to how to keep it the fire going but once i realized the trick is a nice big coal bed in this style stove um, it's been great ever since then really easy stove to operate um, it doesn't have all the emission stuff on it the ashtrays down here you just open this up you pull that pan out there's ash in there dump it out just obviously depending upon how much you're burning depending upon how often you have to clean it and then this is clean this upper chamber out too the smoke kind of recirculates back through get a little more heat out of it um, a little more efficiency that way so yeah real happy with it especially with the price of heating oil jumping the way it has couldn't have picked a better time to have the boiler so i already took the pan off the back um, these are the pumps this one goes to the house this one I, have, uh, I go to the barn with. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I had them put some extra ball valves in on this. Um, we just installed a pool last spring and I wouldn't be able to heat it. I didn't use the heat last year, but I do have everything to plumb it. I am gonna use it this year. Uh, yeah, so we have two sets of underground lines going. One goes right up here, and then it enters my house right by my Bilko doors. And obviously, all the snow is still on the ground, so no heat loss there. Then the other set of pipes just come around here and go in my barn right there. I'll show you the inside there. Uh, this is how I do my wood. I fill up a couple of totes. I have four of them. Um, I usually, middle of winter, I kept four in here with wood. And that way, when I'm out here to feed the wood, I'm not staying out in the snow and rain all the time. Plus, it keeps the wood dry and out of the weather. And uh, then I have a smaller rack here. I try to keep smaller pieces for my wife to be able to feed the boiler when I'm not home. And this is the setup in the barn. It's real simple. It's just uh, basically a radiator with a fan behind it. There's the lines coming in from outside. And I just have a thermostat on the wall. Just real simple. Turn it on. Fan kicks on. There you go. Uh, my barn is not insulated, so I do not run it all the time. Um, just when I'm out here doing stuff. And I'll show you my firewood, get an idea of how much I've burned this year. Uh, that was a concern to me before I put the stove in, was figuring out how much wood I was going to go through. So this is what the, this was a full stack beginning of winter. 
This part here is what I've already started to cut and split for next year. This is what I have left over from this heating season. I measured this when I had it all stacked. It was roughly 10 cord, 10 and a half cord. So I'm guessing I still have a couple three cord left maybe. Um, and here's my other totes of wood. It's just some off cuts and some different size pieces from the stuff I've already started to get ready for for next year. And I just use my tractor with the forks, move the totes in there. It's, it's worked out real well. I'm still trying to fine tune my system, but I couldn't be happier with the whole thing. Um, especially, like I said, with the cost of heating oil going up. Uh, it probably would have cost me about $3,500 to heat my house this past winter it's only a 2100 square foot house but uh, the heating oil does the heat and our domestic hot water so yeah if anybody has any questions about it let me know if anybody would like to see a video of the install inside my house and how it's hooked up just drop a comment thanks